this really cool idea. I did the video really quick, so you have to excuse me. Um, I was trying to figure out about flowers. You know, we have so many of them, and some of them die, especially like the beautiful flowers that you get like for Valentine's Day or whatever. And then I just did some research, and I was just like, hey, maybe we should do this. Tried it, and I love it. So. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, I'll show you in the video. I'm sorry that I cut my head off in the video. It was just, I had just had bed head. So anyways, I just wanted to show you all the video. I hope you like it. Subscribe if you like it. And hopefully I'll talk to you soon. Email me and um, yeah, look out. <laughs>、cool、so I、uh, did a little bit of research, and right here, as you can see, they are pretty dry. Right here, and right here. And、um, so, basically, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make potpourri out of it. Something that smells good. You can put in the bathroom, you can put in the living room, bedroom, wherever you wanna put that has,、um, that you just wanted to make it smell good. So, you basically need a mason jar, roses, or any dead flowers that you wanna put in there to make it look pretty. Some essential oil. Well, I'm gonna make my own oil. I'm gonna use lemon and oil. So, first things first is you wanna pick all the flowers off of the base of the rose. Just be real gentle with it because what you're gonna do is you're gonna stick it inside the mason jar. So, as you can see, I already have a little pal going on right here. And just to speed things up to make this really easy, I'm actually gonna go ahead and throw in my oil. Into the mason jar right here, not much, just a little bit, and then I'm gonna squeeze a little bit of lemon juice in there and I'm gonna shake it up just like this. All right, as you see, now you have an essential oil, pretty easy. So now I'm gonna take those flowers that I've broken off of the rose and stuff them in there. I have a few other ones in there, but to make it look real pretty, I'm gonna stick it in there. And if you want to spice it up, you could put like cinnamon in here, but I would put it in the oil before you put the flowers in there. And I'm just gonna keep throwing some more of these roses in there. There we go. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the other flowers, as you can see, they're dead. But I'm gonna do some different ones, different smells and stuff. And if you ever picked a dead rose, it actually still has its scent. It's really strong. So this one's almost full. I'm gonna put just a few more in there before we do what we wanna do. I'm also gonna do a video on how to dehydrate your flowers.、Um, if you're one of those people that can be a little bit impatient. Um, these are already starting to dry out, so I was a little, a little bit more patient than normal. So, <laughs> basically, I'll show you another video on how to dehydrate them if you know they're starting to go and they're still kind of soft. So, there we go. I'm gonna put a little bit more lemon and then I'm gonna take the mason jar and I'm just gonna sear it on. As you can see, it looks really, really pretty with the dead colors mixed in there, and you just shake it up really, really good. Like that. There you go. And so you have p o p e r i q u e So, what you're going to do now, you're going to let this set for two weeks. Don't open it. You want it to be sealed tight. If you want to use a pressure cooker to seal it, that's fine. But you really don't need to. You just need to seal it up tight. And then just let it sit for two weeks. And that's it. So, the longer you let it sit with the lid closed, the stronger the smell is when you take it out and put it in your dish and、uh, put it in the room that you want to smell really good. So, it has like the natural rose smell, a little bit of lemon in there, and the oil actually is to keep it, the, to keep the lemon scent in there with it too, kind of mix it in. Because if I would have just put lemon in there, it would have just dried up. So, there you go. So, homie and potpourri, and I just want to say I'm going to start doing these for fun and just passing them out as gifts because they're really, really cute. You put some ribbon on there, put on there a little card in there from. 
from yourself to whomever and just make it really cute. You can really dress it up. So thank you again for watching. I hope you like this video. Subscribe and hopefully we'll catch up. Okay, so I did forget to say one thing. This little piece that's in the middle, it's really important. Just go ahead and throw that in there too because that's actually part of the scent of the rose. So do not throw that away. Um, also, another tip is the oil that I used. It was like a grapeseed oil, um, grapeseed or sesame oil, something kind of light, nothing too heavy, will be great if you're going to make a homemade essential. If not, you can use essential oils that are on the Walmart owl uh, by the candles. You can get a couple of those. It only takes a couple of drops. So uh, with that being said, thank you again for watching. I hope you like and subscribe.